Hi, my name is Ginkgo. Let's go! Shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! 
In the 1860s, the remains of a huge marine reptile with a spine consisting of an incredibly large number of vertebrae were found in Kansas, USA. Edward Drinker Cope, a well-known American paleontologist, started describing the wondrous animal. He came up with the name Elasmosaurus, which means a lizard with thin plates, referring to the pelvis bones. In his description of Elasmosaurus, Edward Cope made an unfortunate mistake. He confused the tail and neck of the ancient reptile. Unfortunately for him, it was his rival, Othniel Marsh, who pointed out the error. Cope was outraged by such humiliation, and this triggered the long-standing conflict between the two scientists known as the Bone Wars. Elasmosaurus is famous for having an incredibly long neck. It was two times longer than its body and had 76 vertebrae. A giraffe's neck can be up to 2 meters, 6.56 feet long, which is very long, but Elasmosaurus's neck was four times longer. Existence time, late Cretaceous, 80 million years ago. Length, up to 15 meters, 49.2 feet. Body weight, 2,000 kilograms, 2.2 short tons. <laughs> what a funny creature. It looks like a barrel with fins and a very long neck. And what sharp teeth! This is Elizabeth, Liz to her friends. She is an elasmosaur, a sea reptile. Elasmosaurus's neck is often compared to a snake, but it was not that flexible. This predator definitely could not stick its neck out of the water like a periscope on a submarine. But it would be wrong to call its neck stiff either. It could bend a little, as it consisted of a number of quite short vertebrae. Elasmosaurus's eye sockets were shifted upward so that it could see everything that was going on overhead. This marine hunter probably crept up on its prey from below. A narrow head with sharp teeth would suddenly appear as if out of nowhere, and in the twinkle of an eye, the prey would be caught. 
Elasmosaurus lived in water, and so the structure of its body was adapted for a marine lifestyle. Its limbs looked like long, broad paddles, but inside they had lots of finger bones called phalanges. This made them very strong and stiff, perfect for moving through the water. The stiff body of Elasmosaurus was made up of both regular and abdominal ribs, which worked like hoops on its stiff, barrel-shaped body. The animal's short tail had no effect on the speed of its movement. Elasmosaurus moved using only its four long and flat fins. Let's go!